All right, everybody. Today on the bow show, we're going to be working on the chin. Now, even though you probably might not have a aftermarket hole yet, I mean, I still run a 701, which is a B pipe. A little port work, little goodies here and there, and <clears throat> it's all pretty much a super jet inside. Don't look at my boo boo there. I'm gonna fix it but anyways today on, on my 701 I got a leak where my manifold meets my head pipe on the B pipe it's leaking pretty bad it's been that way for a couple weekends now if you don't know you got to take some degreaser probably I go with simply green you can use roll purple but roll purple likes to eat aluminum so if you do use it just put it on there and wipe it right off because it can eat on aluminum just clean the surface as good as possible so you make sure you get a good seal and if you don't know that the uh, any kind of exhaust leak you're gonna be losing power um, always got to try to check make sure you ain't got no leaks I mean it's pretty noticeable you'll have your little splooge oil coming out everywhere Another upgrade that I suggest is like on your head pipe, these bolts I'm taking out, they're uh, not factory. They're uh, an aftermarket bolt. You can get them from Jet Maniac. It's just a higher end stainless Allen head. I think it's yeah, a number eight. Is it, is it yeah, it's kind of tore in that gasket. No, I guess it's on the head. Well, wait, wait, that's not part of the gasket right there? I think so. I think it's underneath right here. I see the lid. No, no. The gasket's on top, but I'm saying it ripped. Oh. Yeah. Is the gasket gray? Yeah, it is. Or is it green? It's green. There's gray shit on the... Oh, maybe that, that's anesthes. That's what that is. Yeah. So, on the next one, I would probably... You know, I don't know why I had good luck with it, but I used... I'll uh, just put that greasy thing right in your tray. I cannot do that with my glue. You do something like that, it'd be stained for life. Um, the uh, I was using that mercury sealant stuff, and it always worked for me. But um, I know some Alan had problems with it ripping apart, so I'm thinking maybe we put just marine uh, grease on it. Now, if you're going to be doing some freestyle, you see on my head pipe on the on the head of the motor i've got a aftermarket ada girdled head that's a must especially if you have just have a 701 because you're doing barrel rolls you're going to crack the cylinder down where it meets up to the to the cases that girdled head will help not, that not happen um it's well worth the money you can go up in compression also and it's just a win-win Now when you're doing this, I should have done it to begin with, just take the head pipe off. It's a headache. I didn't really want to, but it just makes life easier to get down in there and clean it off. Now if you have any gaskets sticking like I do, um, see I got a razor blade. You're just going to reverse scratch. Um, you're going to hold it straight up or maybe tilt it a little bit, but you're not going to gouge into it. You're going to scrape away from the exhaust end. Because if you gouge your aluminum, aluminum's real soft, so with that hard razor blade, it's real easy to gouge it, and you don't want that. You just want a nice, even, clean surface. <clears throat> now, something you should do that I'm not is put a rag in there. I love working on my jet ski. Ready, go. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Let's get the Dremel out. Oh, yeah. See, I ordered a yeah, big boy one. Yeah, we'll just dike them it and 
mark it and when I get my motor mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I'm sure that we'll need to we'll have to port match this because your new motor will have bigger rear ports but yeah see it's one thing I don't like about the ETs is he designed it for lay down pipe only now these will fit but like power valves right here so I remember on Allen's there's a bolt right here so I had to dremel like right here I had to notch it notch it right there and then on this I had to do the same thing like a little notch right there but it, it's just kind of frustrating because it's like he could have designed that different and I talked to him about it he's like yeah you know I, I could have but my engine makes a lot more power for lay down pipe so yeah but you lose the bottom no you don't you don't think so so there's two ways so if you run a lay down pipe with a big engine you don't lose as much bottom as a lay down pipe Teamwork makes the dream work. You want to take and uh, torque these on. You don't want to get them cracked tight because you'll end up cracking one or losing some threads. So always use a torque wrench. You get one. It's very it useful. 18? Yeah, 18. yeah, that was 18 okay, pounds is what we... 40, but the aluminum... I don't know. I guess because the heat cycles this thing goes through, you know, I, I stripped out two of mine, and that's why I moved it down to, right? uh, yeah. I moved it down to 18 and didn't see that any more problems, because I used to do like 26 or 28, but I never had any leaks at 18, it never came loose at 18. These little bolts here torque at 18, so I'm sure that's. Oh, I didn't know you ran, you ran old school plugs on this motor. Oh, damn. Too much? Shit. Oh, no, it's done for. Don't loosen it. Leave it? It's fine. Okay. We're talking tenths of a foot pound. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's, it doesn't matter. Okay. Most torque wrenches aren't that accurate, so. Get on there. I'm, I need to send that off this winter, have it recalibrated. <clears throat> You're supposed to do it every three years. I've owned that for a lot longer than that. So you think it's still good? Right? It might be a little off. It could be a pound or two off. Get you in the ballpark. It looks like everything's been, I guess, holding up good for you. Tank been staying good. Mm -hmm. and... Still no cup of cover. Who needs it? Who needs it? Yes. Yeah, it had any running problems. Of course, the bilge probably keeps it low enough. It doesn't. It never kicks on. I've never seen that thing kick on. Ever. ever? <laughs> no, I've never, ever seen that thing kick on. I guess your scupper just keeps it dry enough. That's surprising. Does it still work? I mean, there's not much water in here, so I mean. Is it hooked up? Yeah. I have it right here. I just need to hold it to ground. I don't know if I can even reach my arm back in there. There. <laughs> No, uh, touching it. Not hold. I don't think I can hold my finger across it though. I've never done that. I've always done this. Really? Yeah, that's how I've always turned them on. Just that right there. I'm touching it, but nothing's happening. I mean, I've got it set up to go right too. Yeah, I've always held it across it.
All right, everybody. Thanks for watching another episode. If you have any questions, just uh, put them down in the comments, and I'll uh, try to get back to you as soon as possible. Have a nice day.